Hello everyone. Hello. Happy Valentine's Day everyone. Hola, hola. Do you guys like my new presents? I don't know, but I think I'm about to be making me press-ons for every different day now. Hey. Hello. I'm going to make me a new set for tomorrow. <laughs> so, for those of you guys who don't know, I beat the shit out of my ring finger. Um, it's already been, I think, a month that I fucked up my ring finger. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to make press-ons and then glue it on. And like, literally, I barely put any glue on this one. So I could take it off if I have to. But for the meantime, I'm going to be making press-ons so I can let this grow. I just ordered the pastel colors. Yes, honey. So today, I think I'm going to make like a Senora vibes. I don't know. I'm indecisive. I want to make like a nude, a nude-ish set. But you know, bedazzle and shit. I don't know. I'm in between like animal print too. And they're just stuck with nail glue. These, yes. I actually, I didn't use nail glue. I used my bling adhesive to stick these on. But what I did was I put a layer of rubber-based gel to my natural nail. Um, and then I just glued this on. So when I take them off, I don't damage my nail, you know? It, I know it won't be simple. <laughs> For real. I was supposed to do this simple, pero valió verga. Me pasé, you know? So a ver, let me, let's see how these come out. I definitely want to incorporate like nude. Should I do animal print on them? I've been dying for animal print, but I don't know if I should. Do purple. Girl, I just did purple. Look, these are purple. What are the color? Let's see. Maybe you guys changed my mind. I was even thinking of a pink. The yellow's pretty, huh? I know I love yellow. Hey, Zulay. Hey. I love a beautiful nude. Yes. I think I'm going to do them nude. Nude or pink. Animal print. Ooh, doing the crocodile set. Ooh, yes. I have never done a, a crocodile set yet. Hola, what are we doing today? I'm going to make my next press on set. Because yesterday I did these, but I didn't go live because my Instagram has been acting stupid. Nude and animal print is a good idea. Mm-hmm. Love your life. Just got on here. What are we talking about? Oh, I'm telling them how I'm, I'm making a new press on set. Because I think I'm just going to have a new set every week or some shit. <laughs> or every couple days. And I'm just going to save these. Um, I'm going to save these for like the future, you know, for an emergency. Yes, these yellow nails, they're press-ons. I made them yesterday, but I didn't go live because, you know, everybody watching the Super Bowl. And then last time I was live the night before, Instagram was acting stupid with me. So I was like, you know what? I ain't even going to bother. I'm just going to do my little nails. And I'll try again today. Happy Valentine's Day. So I guess I'll do some animal print nails. Bring that back. Hopefully we start a trend again here. You know. Animal print vibes. Nude. I don't know. I just feel like old school nails are going to be a thing again. So we'll see. I was going through one of my phones yesterday. And I saw the pearl, a pearl nail. And I was like, man, that used to be a thing back in the day. So I'm going to have to do that again. 
I used to do bling nails with pearls and they used to look so beautiful. Hello everyone, welcome. Let's see when I do my actual acrylics. Wait. I miss you when you don't come on live. Oh girl. I know I be missing y'all too, but last time nobody was talking to me, so I was like, the fuck? I feel like I'm talking to the wall here. Y me fui a la verga. Do laces are plastic? Do they feel like they'll break? No. I use the rubber based gels and they are pretty thick. So they give you a nice a nice um thickness. They feel like acrylic nails. That's why I've been able to um wear them. Because they do not feel like press-ons. They feel like I'm wearing acrylic nails, honey. I'm just going to buff this so I could apply the color real good. So that's why I'm obsessed also with the freaking... With the rubber base gels because they give you a nice strength on the nail. Hopefully I don't damage my nails here. Normally I put a glove on, but... Yes, these are the 3XL ones. Buff, buff, buff. A little ASMR, honey. So what are you guys doing on Valentine's Day? Did you guys go anywhere? Do you have a boo-boo? You should do a class. Ebony, I'm actually going to have two classes in March. I posted them. Oh, my God. I have fucking chile on my nails. Um, I posted the information a couple days ago. Steakhouse dinner tomorrow with your man. Okay. Just getting off of work. Um, Actually, they took me to dinner yesterday because I don't really like to go anywhere on Valentine's Day. Because everybody and their mama be out and about. So, girl, I'm about to ask my hubby to buy the rubber base gels. Yeah, I tell him, like, you know what, for Valentine's Day, a.k.a. today, go get me some rubber base gels. I actually already uploaded all the 18 colors or 21. Hi, Kim. I think they're 18 colors or 21. I don't remember. Hey, Zulay, love your work. Um, question. What? Haha, <laughs> not the child. No, on the chili. <laughs> but yeah, what's rubber based gel? Um, rubber based gel is just a different formula of gel that is a thicker consistency. And happy, happy B day, girl, no baby yet. I've tried everything sex, walking teas, nada. Any suggestions? Uh, girl, no sé, el mío tampoco no quería salir, but sorry, I forgot, I didn't finish talking about the rubber base, but the boys normally take an extra week, girl, just wait patiently, let the wait patiently. So the rubber base gels, they're, um, mixed with like base coat. So you don't have to apply a base coat. It's like all in one type of thing. Oh, shit. Hold on. Raspberry tea. Okay. Raspberry tea is good for the baby to come. Letty, you never send me your address. I could send you your gift, girl. Van a ser el bebé y aquí tres meses después y dio todavía con el gift. Hi, Fernando. ¿Qué haces? Hoy me voy a hacer mi próximo set de uñas. Um... Porque estas amarillas no son uñas acrílicas, son press-ons. So, eso es lo que me voy a hacer hoy. Me voy a hacer mis próximas uñas para mañana o pasado mañana. No sé. Pero... Clean the whole house. <laughs> You're funny. 
baby will come. All right, so let me just dust my little nails. All right, so we're going to do animal print today, honey. But before I start, let me just remove the little excess of the nail. I don't sell decorated press-ons. These are just for me, for fun. But I do sell everything to make the press-ons, you know? You know what I mean? Hola desde Argentina. Um, mucho no entiendo el inglés. Hola, Loli. Hi, Crazy. ¿Cuánto te duran los press-ons? Mm, la verdad, esta es la primera vez que me las pongo así, press-ons. Pero las que traía el otro día de las rosas, esas me las tuve que arrancar. No las pude salvar. So, si te las aplicas bien, te pueden durar. Um... Zule, did you cut yours down? No, ma'am, I did not cut nothing. This is the full length. I literally just filed a little tip. Are yours acrylic or press-ons? They're press-ons. These are acrylic. These are press-ons because I hurt my my ring finger. Um, Literally have no nail. So that's why I have press-ons right now because a bitch don't got no nail. So I'm going to do me some animal print. I don't know which gel to use. Should I use this one as a nude? Or... Let's see. Ooh, this one is pretty too. I just don't know where the sample went. This one is a nice creamy one. Hi, Donique. Thanks for the badge, honey. How do press-ons work? How do you do that? Um, so I'm going to be making a set right now of press-ons. And um, all you do is just stick them on. Stick them on and voila. Go out and about. Or this one. Yeah, I think I'm going to use these two over here. All right. I'm going to start with rubber base number three. I, yeah, the lighter one, huh? I might use this one too. I'm not sure. I'm going to keep it right here just in case. What type of putty is that? Whenever I put the nails, they always fall off the stand. These are, this is just Tacky Tacky from Hobby Lobby. So I'm going to go in with this rubber base. It is on the thicker side. So if you're not used to using gels, it might be a little tricky at first, but you'll get the hang of it. Just don't put too much. And they're going to be nice and thick. Once this gel cures, it be like you got acrylic on. So I'm going to do I'm going to do a few nails nude. Now, nah, you know what? I'm just going to do them all nude. And then um you'll see how I do the animal print right now. Let's see how dark do you want it? I kind of feel like doing the colored a colored um animal print should I do like a pink animal print or just stick to the normal I tried doing your hearts and failed you make it look so easy no girl you just need to practice we need more confessions from your followers that shit was funny huh um, I thought that shit was hilarious. I don't know. I w should I do um cheetah print and zebra print or just uh, um I don't know. Whenever I think of animal print, I think of cheetah, leopard, whatever you want to call it. 
I love I love cheetah print. Tortoise will look so pretty. Oh, that that will be nice too. I'll do another another set with tortoise nails. Girl, do cheetah pink. Cheetah. Ooh, okay, okay. Cheetah only. I love cheetah print. This color is um, rubber base number three. Do both. Um, do you use the bling adhesive for your present to keep them on your hand? I did use them this time. The first set that I used, I mean, the flower ones that I did the other day, those I applied them with um, rubber base gel. They were stuck, stuck, stuck. So if you want to do yourself press-ons, and you want them to last a good while, stick them with the rubber base gel. But if you just want them to, to how to call it, um, last you a couple days, then do glue. Right? Isn't this color pretty? So if you want like a really light sheer nude, then you do one coat. If you want it to be a little bit more, f more opaque, then you do two coats. I'm going to do, did you get the badges? Yes, Donique, thank you. I'm going to do two coats. Um, And you guys will see como se ven. They're going to look cute. Cheetah, cheetah-licious. Yes, honey. Some OG nails right here is what I'm going to be doing today. You love a good nude. Mm-hmm. I need to um be careful saying things like that because I don't want to get blocked again. <laughs> Hold on, let me turn on my lamp. I have it right here in my legs. Right. Meanwhile, I paint the last one. I'm gonna stick these in the lamp so they can start drying. Yeah, I'm going to try to do another thing of confessions because they were pretty lit. They had me fucking laughing. I was like, holy moly. Could you do clients nails comfortable with long nails? I've been wanting to, but I feel like it would get in the way. Um, Now I can, but in the beginning... When I first started to do nails with nails on, oh my God, it was a fucking struggle. But then again, I wasn't really used to wearing nails, period. I would only wear nails for like a week and then I'll take them off. And how to call it? Um, So I just wasn't used to nails for a long period of time. What the fuck? Stupid Instagram kicked me out. Of my iPad. Um, and so, how to call it? Um, what was I saying? Shit. I fucking hate when I forget what I was saying. Hmm. <sighs> Lord, baby Jesus, why you make me... Um, what was I saying? I was literally just talking. I fucking hate that. It's the COVID brain, I think. <laughs> it's the COVID brain. Would it work when the sticks? Would it work when the stick ons are already painted? Um, it worked for me, so yeah. Oh yeah, 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 I remember now. Um, working with long nails, but just try it and then do it. Um like every other month and then the more you work with nails the easier it's gonna get it does get a little frustrating but it's definitely doable because i do it and i do not struggle with my clients anymore about when you were doing nails and you had nails on okay thank you i i finally remembered you f you're fucking funny Ay, no se rían de mí por favor Que se me olvida. Se me va el rollo. Alright. So this is the second coat. 
Damn, I forgot I don't have fucking brown gel polish. What the fuck? Actually, I do have a brown, but it's a glitter. Oh. What color is beautiful? I'm sold. Um, This is from our rubber, J bleh, rubber gel collection. This is number three. You guys are going to love them all. Oh, I swatched them the other day and I was like, oh my God, these are so pretty. Um, Most of them are more like fall colors, but there's a few nudes that are really pretty. But you can fucking wear them whenever the fuck you want. You know, you don't really have to go with the seasons. Like my sister, she's like, it's not summer yet. Because <laughs> I have yellow, I'm like, I don't care. I do not care. I just need to give content to my hoes. That's what I need to do. Because I don't do nails anymore, like, full-time, like I used to. So, the nails that I do do are really boring. Some of them. Or short. So, I gotta make things, I gotta spice up my my feet a little bit again make the brown again yeah i think i am gonna make some brown again because i need it i need it for my cheetah print um did you remove the shine yes i did remove the shine because you need to um roughen up the nail a little bit before you apply any type of gel hola beatriz do my nails girl i am accepting no clients but only for long and extra long freestyles. How you hurt your finger. Um, so back in January, um, was it before my birthday or after my birthday? Oh, it was before my birthday. I got hurt. I was doing an order and I I hit my hand on a rack. Have you been talking to my teacher about your polish? Mm, I don't know who your teacher is. I don't know who your teacher is. Ho, oh, I love you, bitch. You're amazing. That is not chingona. Thank you, girl. We like long over here. You. Before birthday. Mm -hmm. I feel like this year is going a lot too fast for me. I, I already lost track of when, what happened. I'm going to go to Disneyland again. I'm so excited. I should maybe do myself a Disney theme too. A veces no pierdo una pincha uña ya. No, girl, she's been talking to her teacher about your polish. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, girl. Es que aquí estoy con un ojo para la pinche... Para la iPad y el otro aquí en mis nails. When are you doing your classes again? And will you do classes in Reno? Um, My class is going to be March 19 and 20. I unfortunately do not travel. So, you would have to come over here. Um, so, I could polish and decorate my nails and then use a rubber base and it'll cure through the colors and stick. Um, I haven't tried like a solid color, but the ones that I did apply the other day were a little in the transparent side. They cured perfectly. Um, I'm, I don't think I use this color, but one similar. So those did cure good. These that I have now, I put glue on them. So you would have to try it out. I'm not sure. I didn't want to try to adhere these with gel because... I don't want them to last forever. I literally just needed them for a picture and time to time to fucking move on to the next set. Yes, Disney ears like last time so cute. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to oh shit. 
I'll do me a little Disney set. Um, hola, Zuley. Acabo de entrar. ¿Me puedes decir qué color es ese gel? Um, este gel es, es um, número 3 de la nueva colección de Rubber Base Gels, que viene siendo un gel más um, grueso. So, es perfecto para así los press-ons, para que no te, se te quiebren. Did you glue them and then design them? No, I designed them first. Pretty much what I'm doing now. The, the set that I'm going to be doing right now, I'm going to be wearing that shit tomorrow, honey. Tomorrow or on Wednesday. Um, hold on. How, how the fuck do I make brown again? I forgot already. Yellow, blue, and green, I think, are purple. All right, guys. Hi, Chrissy. Thank you for the badge, girl. So the other day, I had to make some brown. We're going to do this again. What's the next class after marchers? Oh, there is five of us in my class, and we'd love to go to your class as a group. Um, I do not have another class planned as of now, but we'll see how this one goes, and then maybe I could plan another one. But as of right now, I do not have plans of another class anytime soon. I haven't done classes in a long time, so you know I gotta, I gotta go slowly. All right, green, yellow, green, and purple. I think I put. So right now, I'm trying to do um. I'm trying to do brown. Because a bitch here does not um does not have brown. Hi Tia, you make press-ons only for fun for myself. How would you take them off? Like soak them or chop them off? Um these since I only put a little bit of glue, I could probably just Pop them off with like a nail. Um, but the other ones that I did, I ripped them off with um, nail clippers. But I did mention earlier that I did put a layer of the rubber base gel. As a matter of fact, I did two layers of the rubber base gel on my natural nail to protect it when I do remove these. You know, that way I don't have to damage my nails. Will you be going live for your classes in March? No, ma'am. These are paid classes, so they will not be recorded or put on live. If you would like to take the classes, you have to come in person. Mm, this looks like a nice brown, but I think I'm going to darken it up a little bit. Um, kind of looks like chocolate, huh? Chocolatito. Hmm, where did my black one go? Black. My package currently came in. Love my flat top drill bit and glue. Oh, yes, girl. Yes, honey. Hmm. Oh, here it is. All right, I'm going to add a little bit of black to darken my brown. Just a tad bit because last time I put too much. What are you going over in your classes? So I'm having two classes. Go check my
Thank you. I don't know where my stupid learning tool went. Hello. Can you use the rubber gels for a manicure? Yes, you definitely can. That's actually what they're for and for gel extensions. But you can use, excuse me, you can um definitely use them for whatever you like. Oh, damn, oh, damn. All right, so, hey, I'm gonna see no fucking nail here. Um, I change my nails every three to four weeks. All right, hold on. These nails fucking look the same. A big. So there's a pinky. Happy Valentine's Day. All right, I'm gonna get my, oh. I'm going to get my brushita. Where the fuck is the one at? Oh, you like the liner brushes? Oh my God, I need to fucking go. I need to go freaking put these on hot water. So if your brushes ever get all wonky or whatever, put them under hot water and they will straighten out. I haven't done that, but I fucking need to. They be looking wonky. Happy Valentine's Day. Hi, Reyna. Why you interrupted our live and you messed it up? We had to leave and come back. Yes. Um. Yes, the brushes are from my brand, but. Everything that I'm using is from my website. Um, like I mentioned before, I don't have any other stuff here. Yes, it was Reyna. She was trying to video call me on WhatsApp. Happy Valentine's Day. Hello. Happy Valentine's Day. So I'm going to just use the black one because... Um, the other ones, the hairs are all crazy. All right. I'm going to start off with. I'll do the thumb like sideways. Yes, all of our brushes are pinched. So I'm going to start with. with the thumb um to fix it you just need to dip it in hot water but i don't got no hot water right now so that's why i ain't trying to i'm trying to join you in your video oh okay hold on let's add reyna on here Did I accept you? Hey, I'm looking crazy. <laughs> Everyone say hi to Raina. Hey, what you doing? I'm trying to do some nails, bitch. What do you mean, what am I doing? I know, I missed it. I should have gone over to your house today, huh? Yeah. Is there still space in your class? Hey, I'm going to be in those classes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so Raina's going to come to the class, so she's going to be my... Me miro bien... Me miro bien homeless. <laughs> Bitch. Hey, girl. Oh, well, I just wanted to say hello. 
And when you're done, call me. Is it an emergency? I mean, not an emergency, you know, but you know. Okay, Why is she wearing Huh? Uh, the connection is not good. <laughs> We cannot. No quiero que me gane el bigote. We can hear you. Your connection is not good. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay, well, I, they were making fun of me because um, I was wearing my mask. I was like this. But I was saying that I'm getting ready to go in and out right now. So I'm getting, I put on my mask. I could be ready and I won't forget it. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Anyone want to tell hello, me hello, what hello, hello. this means? Va, va a ser live, la clase girls? No. En no vivo, va a ser en vivo en directo. Tienes que estar enfrente de nosotras. Well, it is gonna be live, but in person. You should have went to her house right now. You guys are hilarious together. Imagine what this class is gonna be like. Oh my lord! I know. I know. I'll be there. I'll be taking you guys pizza for lunch. Mm -hmm. And she's gonna be charging you guys too. Mm -hmm. she's be a, a, a la entrada. A la entrada. Just kidding. <laughs> hey, so I'll talk to you guys later. Um, call me once you're done with the live. All right. Adios. Bye, you guys. Bye. Why do you hang up? I don't know. You have to hang up on us. Okay. Bye. Bye. Reina, hang up, you bitch. Oh, there you go. So that was my sister trying to show off her in and out. Bye, Rena. Bye. I'm just doing some random ass spots right here. It low key be looking like cow print, huh? Low key. Low key or high key? Yeah, so anyway, for those of you guys who are asking about the class, it's going to be a physical class. No, I'm not doing cow print. I'm going to do. Um, I'm doing animal print. I'm doing um, leopard, cheetah, whatever you want to call it. I consider it cheetah. I mean, it's leopard print, but I call it cheetah print. Because I just like that term better. But it's leopard. All right, let's see. I wait. So I'm going to use the other side of my dotting tool, the little thin one, to do the outline. Hi, Angelica. Happy Valentine's Day. Yeah, my sister loves in and out She loves her hamburgers. Hello, Cuban chica. How are you? Where do you live, girl? Que no tienen or what? They don't have some where you live? Happy Valentine's, everyone. I have to go. Got things to do before bed. Good night. 
See you next time. How was the how's the gym been? Um is is I I actually stopped going for the gym during the holidays. Not gonna lie. And um I'm going back now. Today I went. I thought I was gonna be more sore last week when I went. No, mom is my back medley, I'm my chin. So I was like, today, um, Today is going to be hurting, but thankfully, thankfully, um, I don't think I'm going to be sore, but so far, so good. Oh, you're in Cuba, Cuba. They got McDonald's. McDonald's is fucking everywhere. I used to love McDonald's. I'm not a big fan anymore. I enjoy practicing Nelson, but I wish I had never ending supplies. Girl, that would be fucking amazing, huh? If we just had a bunch of supplies laying around. But you gotta invest, girlfriend. Invest your little coin, and then you'll have a lot of product. Yes, these are press-ons, the yellow ones. Um, so, Rita, I'm doing my next set of press-ons that I'm going to be applying to my nails. You know what I mean, honey? Because sometimes ain't nobody got time to be doing fucking three-hour nails all the time. I'm just kidding. I'm trying to give my ring finger a little bit of time to to heal before I put another set because no quiero andar mocha. I will you be restocking your oh the sixteen ounce mar manamer the smooth set? Um yes, we are waiting on our delivery. They haven't told us when we're gonna be receiving it. I already reached out to my manufacturer. And I guess they're still packaging it. Like, I need some already, honey. How to solve the problem of going to the bathroom when the fingernails are so long? Actually, that ain't no problem. It is not a problem. Okay. I just do mines and my kids now, so it's only money out of never money in. Oh, okay, I see. Mm. Well, well, well. Then that's a little tough situation. Tell your kids to buy you some materials. Be like, hey, you know what I want for Mother's Day? A new nail polish or a new something. I heard, well, business has been pretty slow, so hang in there, guys. Zule, are you the oldest sister? No, actually, I'm the youngest one. Uh, I have an older brother, and then I have my twin sister, but she's still older than me by a couple minutes. I'm the youngest one, but I feel like I'm the oldest, low-key. Um, oh, my God, one of the nail techs with their own line just released a new monomer, and it's $70 for 16 ounces. Ooh. Are you married? Yes, I am. I am married. I've been married for um for five years. Five years.
Hey. Seriously, why do people think if you have long nails, you can wipe your ass? I don't know, because they cannot function with little nails. It's because long nails, it ain't for everybody, okay? People just need to accept that. How long you been doing nails? I've been doing nails for like 10 years already. But professionally, I've been doing nails for almost eight years. So it's, it's been a long time. Very, very long. Hi, girlfriend. <sighs> yep, long nails is a bad bitch sport. Mm-hmm. I can't wait to wear these fucking nails. I'll be looking like a little baddie. You got soft hands. <laughs> it's because I put lotion on. Hi, Navarro. I've been watching the Ozarks and you just reminded me of the drug dealer guy. The boss. I watch your life so much. I feel like I can answer all these questions. Okay, girl. You're going to be my little assistant if I'm missing an answer, okay? What happened to the pink? No sé. ¿Qué le pasó al pink? I was supposed to do pink, huh? Oops. Que no ven que have bad memory? people at work. Actually, I could still incorporate it. I could still incorporate it. When did you start your line of products? Was it hard to get started on your own line? Um, not necessarily to get started. Well, yes and no. What was hard was finding my vendors or manufacturers. That was the hard part. And then, um, you just go little by little, you know, like, I mean, personally, I started like an item at a time. I didn't just have everything done together because I personally don't got that much doubt. But the hard part for me was getting people to buy my products, you know, that is kind of the hard part. It's like you doing nails um, and your customer finding your customers is the the one that takes the longest you know you just have to do some research girl with anything that you want to do you have to do research find out what you need to get and what you want what is it that you want to do do you want to sell acrylics do you want to sell stickers and then that's where you go Where do you see yourself with your business in five years? That is a really good question. And did my husband send you? Because <laughs> he asks me that all the time. And to be honest, I have no idea. Like, I would love to have a nail academy one day. Um, that's something that I would like to have because I like to teach people. But... We'll see. We'll see. All right, where the fuck is my other nail at? No se ve. Puedes poner la botellita de pega para verla. Gracias. Um, ¿Cuál pega? La, la de las piedritas. ¿Cuál pega este? No se ve. And it's, hopefully that's a better. Para pegar las uñas. Um, oh. Espérate, ¿dónde lo dejé? 
No lo tengo aquí. Pero yo pegué mis uñas, las que tengo ahorita, con ese glue, el que te enseñé. La gomita para eso, lo que estoy usando abajo, um, se llama tacky. Tacky, tacky. Hola, saluditos de Colombia. Hola. ¿Cómo estás, Sheila? What's the texture supposed to do for the bling and he said? What do you mean the texture? The little crustiness? It's just dry glue on the rim. I laughed when I, I got your package, Big Cartel. Mm -hmm, Y'all know. What it do? We from Zule, Big Cartel. Hello. Now nah, that was just coincidence, not gonna lie. People make fun of me all the time, like joking around, like, oh, okay, with your cartel, the book. Um oh no, is it supposed to be gooey? Um, no. So if it's gooey, you just have to give it a good shake and it should go back to normal. Give it some time to like settle. Because it separated, like the little chemicals separated. Like they've been saying, the bling glue you saw is very sticky. Oh no, you have to mix it. Give it a good mix and a shake. It's not like water, but it is a little thicker. Qué lindo, gracias. Let me see your face real quick. Flip the camera. Um, dr liking. You gotta buy a badge first. <laughs> I need to see who I'm listening to once. Okay, buy a badge or two, and then I could flip the camera. You can put the bottle in a little hot water, no, and it thins out a bit. No, don't put it in heat. Um, you do not want to get the glue hot because that's going to mess it up. Yeah, he wants to see my face. He got to buy a badge. That's love. <laughs> you got to support. Support the artist here. Why y'all laughing all of a sudden, honey? Honey, she know I got them racks. And, well, then buy a couple badges. Because this girl needs some, some racks to... She she be trying to hustle here. Felicia, thank you, girl, for the badge. You should do a spring set next with the pastel colors. I actually was considering to do pastel. Um, but then mega no cheetah print. Maybe if I'm done early with this one, I'll do a pastel set. You know, you can never have enough backup nails. Are you right or left-handed? I'm right. I mean, left-handed. Your nails are beautiful. Thank you, boo-boo. Not gonna lie, I lose a little cre creativity. I lose it sometimes. It ain't there all the time. Um, Where are you from? I'm from California. Okay, Queen, hurry. Excuse me, we can't rush the artist. We're trying to do some nice nails. You know, I have to wear those. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me, let me drink some water. It doesn't show me the badges. You have to go at the bottom of the page. Actually... Oh, it's right here. I think it's right here. 
I think there's these little hearts. Yeah, look, you buy a little badge. Are you only doing one hand or both? Right now, I'm only doing one hand. Um, yes, I am in California right now. All right, let's see. I forgot which fingers these are. These look like the ring finger. So my fingers are pretty big, so they be looking kind of similar. I need to double check what the fuck I'm doing right now. Um. Okay, Mr. Baller, DR liking. You bought a badge, boo-boo. But what happened to all the racks? That's only two hearts. <laughs> all right, I'm just going to show you half of the face. All right. Hold on. Give me a second. Let me get my nails out. Yes, these are press-ons. Cuando termina de pagar las perlas, se pude pagar la uña en el dedo. <laughs> That's funny. Should I get my Botox done right now? Happy Valentine's Day. All right, hold on. How do I flip this shit? The whole face requires more badges. You get to see half the face. <laughs> Just kidding. Hi. All right, there you go. That's your little face right there. All righty. This is what they looking like right now. Oh, man, oh, man. All right. Oh, they remind me of my little Kirby that I used to do before. Wait, can y'all see my comments or no? Yeah, we can. We can see your comments. Should I do that matte or shiny? What do you guys think? Matte or shiny? I feel like we need a little pop of color up in here. Shiny. Matte. Matte. Let's matte. Matte. Ooh. Ooh. You guys want matte nail? Shiny nail. Matte nail. Shiny nail. How long you been doing nails? Follow for follow. All Valentine's Day. LOL. Okay. Doctor. Follow for follow. You probably following me already. Okay, I was like, they are not through Rick and Morty. But you should do Rick and Morty ones. I don't know how to draw, girl. Following you now to support you. Okay, thank you, doctor. Oh, my God, late. I hate Instagram. They were never send me notifications. I know Instagram hates me. All right, I'm going to start off by doing one matte nail. And we'll go with that. I'm going to do the middle one. I think this is the middle finger. I'm not sure. All my fingers be looking big. Pink goes good with brown. Yes, it does. So let me... My son said shiny. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to have to do a shiny one for your son. But I'm going to do this one matte just to kind of visualize. We're not done with it yet, but you popped up in most active live videos on IG. Oh, okay. Okay, IG. Trying to help me out now after it blocks me. Your primer trio is a game changer for me i have girls holding it down for as long as six to seven weeks i've ordered other products never disappointed um talk about your stuff all the time oh thank you do matte and put hot pink okay you guys are asking for a color i might not have actually i do have pink maybe not hot pink but i have like a bright pink I'm even thinking maybe put a little flower in here. I don't know. First time on your page. Okay, doctor. I'm just going to call you doctor. 
welcome to the page this is all about nails you can continue to donate badges sir i think you're a dude we're greatly appreciate greatly appreciate them huh huh ladies let's see oh okay um, should i do this pink or should I do a pastel? This color is... What kind of hand lotion do you use? Um, I... I forgot what it's called, actually. Why do my hands look soft, for real? Or should I do a pastel? No. Look, I also have this pink. This one's a nice light pink. It's like a going baby pink. And then this one is pastel pink. The bright pink. The brighter, the better. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Vete a otra página a fastidiar. ¿Quién? The brighter pink? do the pastel okay um i say bright pink okay let's see what the matte be looking like Ooh. the first one this lady is a beast thank you young lady please i'm only 30 i think i'm gonna probably end up doing them shiny i'm not digging the matte but um, I don't know. Maybe once I add the bling and the little flower, I don't know. Do you have the magnet ones? Um, what do you mean the magnet ones? Yes. Come and best over here. Small business. Hello. All right. I think we're going to do the bright pink. Because I think that's what everybody was voting for. Zule's nails, how much are they? Um, I'm not sure what you're asking for the price. I'm not sure what you're asking for the presents. Um, me he puesto siempre, pero solo pregunto bien cómo hacen para tenerlas tan largas. Um, me las quito así rapidito on business credit on the way for you time to get your own shop. Yes. Ve lo que pregunta Claudis. A ver, ¿qué está preguntando la amiga aquí? Mm. No lavan un vaso con esas uñas, no deben ser solo para el video. ¿Sabes qué? Yo lavo vasos, platos, hasta me lavo el culo, todo me lo lavo con las uñas. Sí son para el video, pero también me las voy a poner. All right, let's see. I'm going to put a little color. Actually, I'm going to do these maybe like a French or something. No cualquier persona puede cargar uñas así de largas. So, nomás son para la gente chingona. Oh, yes. How much are your personnels? I do not sell them. I don't sell the press-ons. Um, they're for myself. Simplemente admiro como hacen claro. Mm-hmm. Estas te las puedes quitar y poner cuando tú quieras. Si no sabes cómo usar uñas en el diario, esta es una buena opción para muchas personas. Yo nomás porque tengo hueva, porque tengo hueva, me las voy a hacer así, pero usualmente sí las uso. Blessings, everyone. Time for Bosman to go eat now. Okay, mister, where are you going to go eat? All right.
right, I'm just gonna do like a V French. I haven't done one of those in a good minute. Hey, girlfriend. Do you prefer the regular or gel X press-ons? Oh, thank you, doctor. Um, either ones are good. The gel extensions or the regular ones depends what you want them for. Bolo, okay. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you. Happy Valentine's Day. Hermosas uñas que traes en amarillo. Gracias, chula. Son presents. Ayanda, compre, compre el doctor. Yes, we appreciate him for buying me a coffee. That's going to be like el cafecito. Do you also have charms for sale on your site? Yes, Navarro, we have a couple of charms um, on the website. Fuck, I don't have my glasses on, so ahorita no veo muy bien. So, si me sale chuequita la, la línea, por favor, no me hagan bully porque... Um, a bitch can see 2020 right now. I should be wearing my glasses, pero pues, soy necia. I don't want to fucking put them on. How do you apply press-ons that makes them last four weeks? Um, I haven't had these nails on for weeks. These, I've only had them for one day. But you have to buff your natural nail. Um, buff your nail. Can you put the nail more towards the middle? Oh, yes. Yeah, sorry. Let me just move my my phone a little bit. Um, you have to file your natural nail. Apply them like if you were to apply um acrylics. You add acrylic to these prisms? No, the rubber based gel is very thick so it be feeling like i have acrylic on them they do not bend hey Zule, happy valentine's day hi so now we know where these random people come from from the explore page or most live on instagram Hola, mi amor. Hola. You only use acrylic or builder gel on a real set? I only use acrylic. I've never used... Actually, I'm lying. I, I have used builder gel. But that's a little... That's a little tricky for me. <sighs> I did a set once with builder gel. It was a hot mess. Not gonna lie. Zule popular. No, Zule not popular. She ain't popping. What nude is this? This is um the rubber base number three. Uh this is a full nail, a press on nail. Ignore this person with the throw up emojis. They just want attention. I do not have patience for gel. Well, oh, I'm learning to have patience. Maybe I should give it another try. They coming out right. Mm-hmm. I can't wait to put these on. Hola, mi bella. Hasta que alcanzo ver un vivo tuyo. Me encantan todos tus diseños. Ay, hola, mija. ¿Cómo estás? Qué bueno que llegaste. Porque ya vamos a medias. 
si vas a alcanzar un poquito. I shook the bling and he said, but it's still gooey. Any tips? No. Okay, look at it. Hold on. I'll show you right now. Let me finish this now. Because I had a, a one of my little customers that lives here down the street. I took her to Glues the other day. And because the weather's been like hella hot recently, the glue will get a little thicker. So I told her that I'd replace them, right? Because she, for her, it was still thick. But I've been using glue for many years, so I really know what to do to them and all of that. So I ended up going to exchange them for her. And when I got to my house, the glue was already good. So, hold on, let me put this over here. Let me see. So, you're going to get your glue, and it's going to be a little, like, it's not like hella gooey, but you see how it's a little stringy? You're going to shake it really, really, really good, mix it, and then get your little brush and mix it in there, too. If there's some stuck in your bristles, you have to go like this and remove everything on your brush. And you could even clean the brush with a little napkin and then just keep mixing it. And the more that you use it, it's going to go back to regular consistency. This is one of the glues that I got from the... Um, I guess you could call her like my little friend, my little friend Neltic. Hers was gooey too, and I told her to shake them and everything, but just in case it was like defective or whatever, I was like, okay, let me go and replace them. So I've been using the one that I, ooh, damn, those are a lot of comments. I've been using the one that I went to get from her and is regular. So just give it a couple a little good shaking, let it sit for a little bit, and then it's going to go back to normal. So I'm going to give myself a little bit of pink here. No problem. But just try to shake the bottle and clean the brush, okay? Because if there's anything stuck to the bristles... It's going to stay there on the bristles, even if you shake it. I kind of compare it to atole. You know how, well, if you're Mexican, you know, you know. Um, when the atole is hot and then it starts to cool down, that it has like a little layer on top. And you could just like um, remove it or mix it or whatever. That's kind of like what I compare the glue to. <clears throat> Um, mine is like gooey too, but it still works. Okay, girl. Yeah, it does work. You just have to take it off the bristles and then it gets easier to apply. Do you recommend refrigerating the glues? Yes, I do highly recommend it, especially if it's hot. So the thing with the temperature is like, yeah, right now it's winter and it's cold, but a lot of us have... <clears throat> We have our heaters on, so that also counts as heat. So you need to make sure to not have your rooms too hot or how to call it, your glue is going to get thicker in there. I don't think I'm going to put pink on all the nails, but I'll put a little bit more. Es que siempre veo tus videos, pero en YouTube, de los que grabas aquí. Okay, pues que bueno que nos alcanzaste un ratito. Um, do you just paint the nails and just use the nail glue to put them on your nails? I have been doing that. I did it this last time. And I kind of like it, you know, because I don't got to, I don't got to commit to the same nails. Zule, have you ever eaten sopa de... Paloma? No, I have never, Luigi. What is it like? I also don't close it all the way. Yes, me neither. Because if you close that fucking glue or glue, period. But this one is super, super strong. It will get stuck. So do not close it all the way. 
I just leave mine like this. And even then I kind of try to leave it less, less closed. What nail glue do you use? Because my nail glue is horrible. My nails always fall off. Girl, you need to come shop at Zule's Nails. Bigcartel.com. We have the best glue in the in the whole universe. Okay. After I use it, I just put it back in the fridge. It's been perfect since I bought it. Yes. Um, the first couple times we gonna mess it up a little bit. Not gonna lie, you know. But you have to take care of your stuff and it will last. What kind of glue do you put your press-ons with? Um, so I use the bling adhesive on my nails to glue them on. Um, but I applied a layer, two layers of rubber-based gel on my natural nails before that. I was so confused. I thought that was a gel glue. No, 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 no. I know because of the bottle it's in, huh? Hmm. I'm just going to do the fucking whole tip. I'm over here trying to make a little strip, but it's like, girl, you struggling. You struggling. Just paint the fucking tip already. Is it like... Okay, okay, okay. So could I buy glue on nails and use your glue? Uh, you can, but... You have to protect your nail, uh, your natural nail. If not, it's going to rip off. Or you could just use our nail glue. We have nail glue. Mm, let's see. I switch over to tube glue. I love it. I have five backups and it's easier to me than the brush bottle. Yes, there's a few people that prefer the tube one. Um, like my sister, she likes the squeeze part better. I personally like the brush, but they're both the same, just different application. Put brown lines. Oh, shit, my press on fail. Mm -hmm. A bitch is hella thirsty. God love you. Aw, thank you. Love the bling nails. My brush came off my last two bottles. Um, Lynette, try not to um close your glue all the way. Because since the glue is really strong, it will kind of um, get stuck. But you could just pop them back in, twist it all the way, um, and they'll pop pop back in. <clears throat> My throat is feeling a little funny right now. Do you like God? Yes. And God loves me back. Why don't you sell sets? What do you mean? Like press on sets? I always get hella thirsty and hot when I do nails. I keep water near me, girl. When I'm at work at the salon, I do not get thirsty. But right here, I guess because I'm fucking talking and like my throat's dry already. It's dry, dry. Um, I do not have time to do this as a business. The press-ons, these are just for me to provide content for you guys. But I do not have time in my day to do this. No, just like the bristle part, not the entire thing, but I'm going to try the tube next. Yes, try both and let's see which one you like better. I just placed an order. Can't wait. Yes, honey. I really like your nail extensions and press on nails too. Oh, thank you. 
We're trying to be smart here. Do the nails in advance and then put them on. Oh my god, I be getting dry throat so bad when I do clients' nails. I be tearing up everything. It's a hot mess. <laughs> Girl. I forget that I how to call it um that I have water or coffee. They're bomb. You should start teaching others I'll pay to learn so create and neat. Um well if you're in California, girl, I do have two classes coming up. Otherwise you could just join us on lives. I always teach you guys something free all the time. Can I be your boyfriend? Uh, I already have a husband, but if you buy me a badge, you could be my Instagram boyfriend for today. For today only. You know, because it's Valentine's Day, just in case you don't have a Valentine. I'll be your friend. How much? Um, The class details are on my profile. Check out my last um couple posts. When's the class? The class is in March 19 and 20. So what are the classes? Is basic acrylic. Um, and the other one is a 3D embling class. How sharp are your stilettos? Um, which uh, we have two of them. You're talking about the regular stilettos or the stiletto coffin? Oh, damn. These comments are moving a little fast for me right now. My birthday today. Ooh, happy birthday. Girl, I'm about to come. No lie. Okay, girl, don't lie. Reyna's going to be there. My sister, I'm forcing her to come to my class so she can learn. Oh, fuck. I fucked up my French. Um, no, I didn't. Zule, you have taught me so much and always answer my questions. Thank you. No problem. Don't forget who's your teacher. Hello. How are you doing? I would really like to be an influencer and I try hard to always improve, but I have no support. And I lose many followers. You would help me a lot by following me. Thank you. Girl, just post every day on your page and you will get your little followers. But you have to post your work. You cannot just post like what you're eating or partying it up. You know? You know what I mean? Nobody wants to see you guys shaking your ass. Well, at least not your customers. They do not want to see that. And maybe later, but not right now. Join the club. Mm -hmm. Join the club, ladies. The Zule Club. How did you learn how to do nails so well? I've been practicing for many years, and I'm still not perfect. I've been doing this for almost 10 years already. Haciendo y deshaciendo, you know? How long does it take you for a full set of acrylics now? It still takes me a long time. I take two to three hours doing nails. And then depending on the design, it could take me four to five. Depending what I'm doing. I love this set. So cute. Yes. It's going to be my new favorite. I think I'm going to put flowers on it too. Like a flower too. Bring in like old school vibes. Puta aquí para what? ¿Qué, qué, 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 qué? Have you been practicing your drawing since taking your Vegas class? Girl, yes. One of my clients made me draw her some fucking flowers the other day. I was like, Lord, baby, Jesus. But I was like, you know what? I could do it. I could fucking do it. They're not going to come out the best, but they're going to come out nice. All right. So, all right. Let's see. Hold on. So I looked, what nail glue should I get? There's black bottle says not to put on your natural nail. Then there's a nail glue tube or the squeeze nail glue. Um, 
if you get the black bottle, which is this one, you have to put something on your natural nail and then you could put that glue along with your press on. That's what I did. So I put a gel polish base on my natural nail to protect my nail from the glue. And then I glued on the press on. That's what I did. If you do it like that, you could use the black bottle. Girl, my mom always said que echa no perder se aprende. ¿Verdad que sí? Eso es lo que yo también digo. Uno tiene que echar a perder para aprender. That's why I always tell people that um, not to be expecting everyone to give them answers for everything because you have to go through shit, make mistakes to learn, you know? You can't just expect it to be easy. Like, no, ma'am. Shit ain't easy. And if it is easy, then you're not going to appreciate it, you know? That's why when I was younger, my dad be like, I'm not going to buy you a car. You're going to buy it yourself. And, da -da -da -da. and I was like, you fucking bitch. You're a fucking asshole. But they were right. Once I bought my own shit, I took care of it. When they gave it to me, I did not. So it goes back to the same. Fuck, my little napkin here. To the same thing. Ooh. Echando a perder se aprende. No matter what it is. Car, nails, fucking cooking. Um, this one. Let me see if Patrick can bring me a water. Or maybe a coffee. Exacto. When are you going to wear the press-ons? When are you going to wear this press-on set, girl? Probably. I'll probably leave these for another day because they're so beautiful. I ordered myself a yellow ring, and I've been. they told me it was going to be ready today, but it wasn't. So that's why I did them yellow, so I could pose with my yellow beautiful nails, my little ring. But it ain't ready yet. So I have to mm, probably put them on like in two days or so. Yeah, these are my, my little yellow press-ons. Según iban a ser simple, pero valieron pura verga. Que simple ni que nada. All right, I'm going to top coat these because I'm going to put flowers. And um, since you guys are, well, I don't know if you guys use gel polish or not, but they do stay a little sticky. So I'm going to put the top coat so that nothing gets stuck to the gel because I don't want no little lint on there. All right. I'm going to put top coat on the matte one. I don't really like it matte. No, I did not put acrylic on these. It's just gel. I did rubber base gel and um, regular gel polish. Zule, you have a banged up nail, right? Yes, Luigi, my ring finger. And that's why I'm doing press-ons right now because I do not have a fucking nail on that bitch. It's like literally like my old pinky nail. And it's like el pinky, you could get away with, you know, if you have a short nail. But my ring finger, nah, honey, that should be looking funny. So I put the nail glue in the fridge. Yes. Try to keep it. I'm sorry. Um, try to keep Fuck it. I'm getting sleepy. Sorry, guys. We got kicked out.
I was over here hablando como pendeja. I'm like, hello. Stupid Instagram. Why are you kicking me out? Has it been an hour that I've been on here already? Like, what the hell? I got kicked out. I looked up on my iPad and I had no more live. Like, what the hell, man? Zule so sleepy. Mm hmm. What? We're gonna definitely be adding bling. What kind of question is that? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna add bling. We cannot be without bling. They're looking cute, huh? This little glitter needs to go. Mm. Fuck it, bitch. Um, how do I remove them? I'm just gonna try to poke them. Oh man, I didn't even take it off. Oh well, I'll cover it right now with a bling. So, I've never tried the press-ons with bling adhesive. So, I'll let you know how I take them off. I literally just put like a drop. So, I'm hoping they come off easy. You know? Hello, Devani. How are you? Oh, I thought you were Patrick. Why? A water bottle. I'm a thirsty bitch. So I keep the glue in the fridge until I use it. Yes. Try to keep it in the refrigerator if possible. I feel like if I order the glue, I'm going to use it wrong. Girl, you cannot use it wrong. Just apply to the nail and boom. It's easier than what you think. Hello, aquí muerta, pero en vida, enjoying your life. Oh, are you okay, girl? Cheat delicious. Thank you, Patrick. Does Patrick speak Spanish? No, he don't. He's a no sabo kid. He does understand Spanish, but he doesn't like to speak it because he says he doesn't know. But he does know. Like if I tell him Camilo Wachingar, he understands me. All right, beautiful nails, get into the oven. Ay, hold on, let me drink some water. Do you always put top coat before your bling? No, not always. I try to put um the bling first because if you do it directly on top coat, it will move and all of that, and that should be irritating me. So I try to um I try to add the bling first and then the top coat. But when it's not possible, then I gotta do it like this. Sorry. I was drinking a little bit. Um, so if you put top coat on cute, the bling will not fall. I know your glue is hella good, but just curious about the top coat. Um, if you do it on top of top coat, you just need to um, add a little bit extra because anything that is applied over um, over a slippery surface or something smooth can fall off easier than if you apply it over something rough. I do both ways depending on what I'm doing. But I like to buff a little area. I like to buff a little area and then do my bling. So let's see. This one is a thumb. I think I'm going to add a flower to these. All right, let me. What about an acrylic 3D flower? Can you do that on a press on? Yes, that's actually what I'm going to do right now. Let me just um, 
get my acrylic. I'm gonna do a normal flower. got stuck. Let's see. I might just do like two little flowers. Ooh. Honey. So since I'm just going to use a little bit of monomer, I'm gonna put a little bit of acetone. Just a couple drops, but this is a big ass opening. Um, Just a word of advice with the glue. Once you use it, do not close it all the way because you're gonna struggle to open it. Try to not close it fully like this is how i leave mine and if possible i will leave it a little bit less sealed like literally you just close the lid like this because if you're a messy person like myself um when you're doing um when you're working you're gonna get it all over the rim and that's going to that's going to get um get on the rim and dry up so girl and if you've ever tried anything with glue getting stuck even eyeliners get stuck if you get it on the rim how to call it um you won't be able to open it i mean you could still open it but you're gonna struggle a little bit so i recommend to try to run the cap the cap under hot water. Just the cap, not the whole bottle. And that should do the trick. But if it's been closed for a long time, it might not work. So just keep that in mind. Try not to close your glue fully. Hmm. I should have put it somewhere else. Good night, Luigi. All right, let me get my activator. So I'm going to spray my little activator on the nail. So my shit could dry fast. And my brochita. I kind of messed this one up has a little bit of of acrylic or maybe it's glue um so if you ever work with um the glue you want to have an activator just in case you're gonna do like flowers or stuff like that because look at i think i have a little bit of of glue on the tip for example right now if i did not have the activator i would have to wait until my glue is fully fully dry before i go in there with my brush because if you touch the bristles of your brush and your glue is wet it's gonna get it's gonna ooh, it's gonna get stuck so you do not want that um i put monomer i mean acetone in my monomer so it could dry faster you guys are gonna be able to see my lifted ass nail right here Oh, 
I'm so fucking hungry. Ooh, wow, I never knew that. Thanks for the tip. Yes, ma'am. You welcome. Do you sell gel brushes? Yes, we do have some gel brushes. We got all kind of brushes. I kind of hate doing um flowers over gel because they be spreading out a little a little bit more. But pues yucky. Uh, but the glue works so good, do I love it? Yes, it it works amazing. Just don't drop it. Just don't drop your glue. If not, you're going to hate it. You're going to hate it. It's like a little love and hate relationship. And this is really reminding me of back in that day when I started doing nails. This was the style. What if the glue gets on my skin? Nothing happens. You just peel it off like normal. I mean, I've gotten the glue on my skin up plenty of times. Nothing's ever happened to me. I accidentally sprayed the glue activator near my bling adhesive and it dried it out. Girl, no, 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 no. You have to be careful with the activator because that shit will dry it up. Um, this brush is a number two. So depending on the style of flower that you're going for is the size of the brush you're going to use. Zule, I have to go to bed. Will you post this? Um, Yeah, I'm going to try to save it and put it on uh, YouTube. I haven't posted on YouTube in a couple of days. So they deserve a video. Good night, Jenny. Or Jen. I live for your lives. Yes, girl. Good night, girlfriend. Ahorita me voy a comer algo porque tengo hambre. Yes, honey, that's looking cute. I might have to add another flower. I'll probably do it here. Oh, shit. I don't even have a fucking diamond. I'm over here trying to put another flower without a diamond, girl. I was supposed to do my own press-ons tonight, but I got stuck on your life instead. Girl. Pop them out. Pop out your press-ons and start working. No excuses, honey. What are you thinking about eating? I don't know, like a bun or something. Nothing too crazy. I'll just go find a bread. I'll go find a little bread in my pantry or a cookie or something. Con some lechita. And, um, actually, I bought this thing that's like cheesecake. 
It's from the Philadelphia brand. I'm not sure if it's going to taste like cheesecake or not, but um, it said cheesecake snack and it has a little crumb, so we'll see. I think I'm going to go get one of those. I got them at State Bros. Hello from India. I mean, love from India. Hello, girl. Just went out to eat Valentine's Day. It was so expensive and nasty. Oh, no, girl. What did you go have? I don't think you had them. Um, I don't remember what color it is. Is it good? Have you tried it yet? I have a bad memory. I just saw the cup this morning, but I don't remember what what it looks like. Hi, Zule. Do you have a YouTube video on how to do 3D flowers? Um, I actually do have a video on this flower specifically. I just watched it last night. <laughs> No te duele tirar todas esas piedras bonitas cada que te cambias un set. Um, sí y no, porque si no me las pongo yo, no se las pone nadie. So, luego nomás ahí van a estar arrumbadas. So, no, no me duele tanto. Me gusta mi bling, bling, bling. Siento que el set no se ve igual si no le pongo las piedritas bonitas. No luce tanto. I try to eat out at places I can't make at home, so I know it's worth it. My sister does the same thing. I just had one. It's okay. I What? I think like cheesecake is more of a thick mousse. Mmm. Oh, I hope it don't disappoint. What the fuck kind of little fly bug is this? Get out of my light. All right, so that is one of my nails. Have you tried putting these press-ons with acrylic? It's amazing and they don't feel flimsy. Um, actually, no, I haven't put acrylic because the rubber base gels, they are really thick. So they're not flimsy. Oh, I'm like, the fuck, I'm missing a nail. They feel like acrylic, like they're really hard. With the, with the rubber base. Um, oh my God. Move, move stuff, move. Let's see. Damn, it's barely 8.40. I thought it was later. Is that nude color on your site? Yes, ma'am. This nude color is the one of the nude colors. So the light penetrates through the design. Um, If it's a, a translucent color, yeah. Yeah, it does. Oh, okay. I understand what you mean with acrylic. Like, I put a little bead and then I put it on. Is that what you meant? It's 11.40 where I am. Oh, girl, it's kind of late. It's kind of late there. Can you build, like, an apex with a rubber gel? Or is it more of a polish? Um, It's thick. But I'm not sure why you would want to apply an apex on a press on. You could definitely work it like if it's a builder gel though. Now you could add to it. And you can run some acrylic under the entire nail too. I actually wanted to do that today for the nails. Like do them with acrylic. But then maybe a hueva. Because I take way longer doing fucking acrylic. So I was like, you know what, Zelie? Just paint them like you've been doing. 
practice your painting skills here. Hi, Harp Seal. Thanks for the badge, girl. Always coming through with the little badges. I do that with my clients that move too damn much. <laughs> I watch Zule like fat people watch Food Network. <laughs> You're funny, girl. You funny, you funny. Do you watch on YouTube or where? Where do you watch me, ma'am? Who the fuck is messaging me on WhatsApp? In the WhatsApp. So cute. I really want to put these motherfuckers on. Here and on YouTube. Um, both and los dos. So do you watch the videos like double? Because you know how like I put the same thing on YouTube? What kind of brush is that? This is a 3D brush. This is specifically for 3D art. I watch repeatedly for design inspo. Oh, thanks, girl. I I ain't gonna lie. I be watching my own videos to and put myself to sleep. And I'm like, sometimes when I don't know what the fuck to watch on YouTube, I just go watch my own videos. Patrick be like, you're cheating. You watch your own videos and your own ads? So like, fuck yeah, I do. Why would I skip my ads, homie? Why? Why would I do that? I tell la florecita. I wish I lived in LA to go take your class. I'm scared to go so far alone. Where do you live? Do you live in another state? Me too, girl. I be listening to my own podcast. <laughs> Hell yeah, shit. You gotta support yourself. You gotta support yourself. Should I do another flower on the thumb? You guys think I need one? Or should we just do bling on that? Is the only one with no pink. Hey girl, hey. It don't count as extra views. I'm. I don't care if it counts or not. I just like to listen to myself. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I watch my own YouTube too. Sometimes on the ads, gotta support yourself. I feel like if you want watch yourself, how do you think someone else will? Mm hmm. I like to listen to my dumbass shit that I say. YouTube county one account ones. Hmm. Bling it out. All right, let's bling it out. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to put bling. That's easier. Leave the thumb. I think you should put another flower so both nail can have two. Another flower. But that's my pinky. It's going to be so baby. No, I'm just going to put this flower. Because I'm going to put bling there. You'll see. You'll see. Bling time. Alright, let me move my shit out the way. I'm going to steal it. Go for it. You can steal whatever you want. All right, all right. Should I put pearls in these two? I don't know. I'm so into, like, my OG shit. I might even put pearls on this set. No flower, just bling. All right, all right. Let me drink a little bit of water. Bling. 
because um i be thirsty no i do not sell press-ons um i mean i do sell the stuff to make press-ons but i don't sell press-ons like i don't make press-ons for people they're just for myself you know because a girl gotta have backup A girl gonna have some backup in her life. So y'all better remember that these pearls came from Zule's page, right? Just in case the pearls become a thing again. It's a recycled um trend. I used to love working with pearls. Maybe one day I'll do um, press-ons for other people, but not right now. Do you sell acrylic flowers? No, I don't. I might add some to the store, actually. Um, I have a vendor that makes flowers. I, I'm not going to make them. I don't got time. They take forever. But I, I do have a vendor that sells acrylic flowers. So I might consider adding those. To my store. It's like a love and hate with flowers. You know. Because they be taking forever. Forever ever. Where'd you go girlfriend? Don't the pearls just give it a whole new vibe. Like back in the day vibe. I don't know. I don't know, but I love me some pearls. Look at check it out. Ooh, que bonito. Que bonito. This is like Sinaloya. Sinaloya style. Pay Patrick to make them after school. <laughs> Actually, I was telling my sister, I was like, dude, because she's like, what do you want me to do in your class? I'm going to spray this on the side. She was like, what do you want me to do in your class? And I'm like, girl, I want you to learn how to do nails. Because you could be doing these press-ons. You know, like decorating them and all of that. She's good at painting. Um, Yeah, she's she's good at painting, like nails. Like I think she does better than me at painting. So maybe I'll get Raina to do it. Hold on, let me move those aside a little bit. Oh, se cayó la verga. Classy Madonna. Now, Madonna. Come on, you stupid bling bling. Oh, no. Oh, no. Se me secó la verga. Cute. My fucking nose burns already. When you use an activator, please don't breathe. That shit hurts a little bit. Any tips on preventing lifting? Um, You might want to practice your nail prep. That's normally where the lifting comes from. Um, I used to practice filing my i mean i would paint my nail uh bright color and then practice my filing like that so i would see the areas that i was missing if you're new to the industry like you're new to doing nails it's a part of the learning process so don't um don't beat yourself up okay for lifting and your nails are gonna live for a good while before they start to stick Ooh, that looks so cute mm -hmm. it reminds me of like a little tiara i think i'm gonna put a little bit more any advice on starting nail business at home? Um, 
I started from home actually when I was doing nails. Just that I personally wouldn't do it again. But girl, just start. You got to start somewhere. Just be careful who you bring into your house because people can be shady. Hold on. Oh, there they are. There they are. Oh, man, that's the same one that got stuck. Yeah, just start it. Don't be scared to start because the longer you take, the longer you're going to keep procrastinating. Damn, I think I lo puse chueco. Why not? Why wouldn't I work at home anymore? Because people crazy. People crazy. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Yeah, people are fucking shady. I do not trust people. Period. I don't care how friendly you are. I don't trust people. Hold on, let me see. Que pega usas de ya? Uso la de mi línea. Déjate la enseño. Like it's a little weird having people in your house that you don't know. You don't know what their intentions are for real, you know? So, if you can do business somewhere else, I would recommend for you to do business in another location. But when I used to do nails at home, I used to be outside. They would never go into my house. And they hardly ever asked to use the restroom or anything like that. Um, So... I was good. All right. So these are what the nails are looking like right now. This one reminds me of a little tiara, a little something. I'm gonna put some on the, on the, on the French, the French nails. I recently experienced a client wanting to do her nails, but when it came to the appointment she wouldn't show up or even reply to messages i was so annoyed i even kept bothering to let her waste my spot what that's why i don't really like no clients because they be playing like girl that's one thing that i never liked when i was doing now do you have to rough up the rubber base like regular gel before using the bling adhesive? Um, it's more of a preference. I like to roughen it up a little bit, especially if I'm going to put a big piece because I don't want them to be moving around. But I didn't buff the other ones that I did right now. The regular round ones, I did not buff those. Yeah, so if you're going to start a business on uh in your house, make sure to ask for a deposit no matter your experience whether you're new or you've been doing it for a while. Just ask for a deposit cuz these people going to be playing. They're going to book appointments and not show up. And have rules, okay? Set some boundaries or some policies so that people don't try to, like, step all over you and shit. Oh, my God. So, the last conversation, I asked for $20 deposit and she acted like I was crazy. Yeah. Normally, when people do that, it's because they ain't going to come. You don't, and they're going to be crazy. They're going to act up. So just don't even bother. Don't even bother with people like that. They're going to be a trouble client anyway. 
you don't want that how much is a reasonable deposit twenty dollars is your average deposit no matter where you go but you could always do more you have to just tell them like your deposit is going to go towards your service you know if you do not show up to your appointment then it's non-refundable you know if they're gonna show up to their appointment they have no reason why to get mad for you asking for a deposit if they're getting mad is because they're planning on not showing up you know or they like to flake or play with people's time that's the way i see it if you're not serious then that's why you got a problem so therefore you don't book them because then they're gonna be flaking photo id you ask for a photo id girl Like, I need to know who's coming. Like, who is you? Who is you? Mm -mm 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 -mm. I don't know why, but lately I've been into the same designs. Um, Let's see. Yes, take deposits. I have so many girls flake on me. Mm hmm that was my number one thing that I hated. I hated when I started to do nails. They would fucking leave me hanging. And then they wouldn't even tell me that they were not coming. Like, bitch, what the fuck? I actually had a girl once who paid her deposit. And I texted her like, hey, let me know when you're outside or whatever. And she's like, okay. And um, I... I finished early with my other clients, so I was like, right, I'm going to go take a little lunch. I saw a car outside of the salon, um, and so show and passport for me. <laughs> Reina's funny. And so I was like, oh, maybe that was my client or whatever. But, I mean, I was done early, so I didn't have to service her. I went to get my little lunch. And then she texts me. I was at Starbucks, actually. I still remember this. Like it happened yesterday. She was like, I'm here. And I was like, mm, well, I'll be back at your appointment time, which was like at one. I was like, I, I t I'm I, taking a little lunch. And she didn't respond. So when I came back, the car was gone. And I was like, I wonder if that was my client. So tell me why this chick never came back. I don't know if she got mad or what the fuck, but she never came back. I was like, what the fuck? I hope she's okay. I was like, maybe she went down the street somewhere to get something to eat. Or maybe she has Starbucks too. Who the fuck knows? Point was that the girl never texts me back. It's like... What happened? You were here. Why'd you leave? And I never heard from her again. She never even messaged me to get her deposit. Tried to get her deposit back or nothing like that. She was not going to get it no matter what. But like in the past, I've had I had people um, who would flake and they'll be like, I, I want my deposit. Like, bitch, you cannot have your fucking deposit. Um, yes, these rhinestones are, I mean, these crystals, they are on the website. So deposits are, are, um, a must because she, from $20 to nothing dollars, I rather give it $20. Mm -hmm. My little pearl. 
<sighs> These nails are coming out cute. Especially when you're just starting and you don't have clients like that and they don't show up. It's really upsetting. I always require deposit. Yep, and hear the stories about themselves. How long did it take on a long set? Um, I take about three hours. I like to take my sweet ass time. Hmm. I don't know why I can't be fucking simple. Why can I not be like a normal person and just keep it simple? Like Zulane, you gotta be normal and just know when to stop. Why did Swarovski stop selling to the public? Um, from what I heard is because they want to be more of a luxury brand. So they don't want just anybody to use their, their, I guess they don't want us to use their bling just like we've been using. They want to be more exclusive. That's what they said. But is it true? Who knows? I tell my girls an hour for every week they want them to last. <laughs> for real. Like you just want them to last two weeks? All right. Two hours. So must choose my. Choose my. Choose my. Ya casi terminamos aquí el diseñito. We're the ones that make them money. We're the ones that make them the money. Who? What, what you talking about, girlfriend? Who you making money? Who's money you making? Um, I'm making some press-ons for myself, you know, my future press-ons. This looks pretty cute. I don't know if I should add more bling to it or not. Oh, Swarovski. Yes, 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 yes. Sorry, guys. Ya saben que yo estoy bien. No, I'm not going to add that. Yo ya estoy bien pendeja. And then too, maybe um, COVID and all of that affected their their um, their factory and shit like that. I'm gonna add something to this one. You know, like the supply and the demand and all of that. I'm gonna add this little one down here because we have like we have. Some long bling over here. All right. There you go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Semisical. All right. One more now. What's that yellow on your right hand? It's so pretty. It's um gel polish number um what's it called? Number 61. I'm just gonna add a little squiggly. Mm, no, that's not a true story. That's not the reason. I mean, maybe something similar has happened before, 
where people lie about real crystals like the Swarovski and stuff. But I don't think that was the reason why they discontinued our asses. They just don't want us to use their name. They don't want us to um, make money off of them. Do you have an actual powder similar to the yellow gel color? Um, no, I don't actually. I have a pastel one, but it's not like this color. Sorry, girlfriend. The story is on YouTube with a few YouTubers telling their story after paying 700 plus a set. Um, I, I saw a video once about that person, but it's not true. A customer, um, like you can't go to a jewelry store or whatever to check if they're authentic or not. And after you scratch them and abuse them and shit. I don't believe I don't believe that's what happened. The fuck is that noise? What the fuck? This nail is popping. This nail is popping. Que me dan los pinches ojos malditos. It's lagging for me. Girl, it might be your internet because it's not lagging here. I have my little iPad right in my face. Go in and out. How do you apply your press on so that they last a long time? Um, Last time when I applied them, I applied them with rubber base gel. This time I applied them with just the bling adhesive. Um, the amount of money she was using, I highly doubt she would need to do that for money. Yeah, I I disagree with with the story too. Like, we can't believe everything we see on social media, guys. I just think some people be hating sometimes. Making stuff up. Maybe the YouTuber girl expected them to be free. And at the end, she was butthurt that she had to pay $700. Because I ain't going to sit here and tell you that these influencers pay. They don't. Not all of them, you know? And that's like, um, sometimes that's your exchange, you know? You pay. You, I mean, you don't pay and you get a free exposure or whatever. So this person obviously paid and she was mad or something. And that's why she made the story up. Because, girl, I did not believe it. I was like, nah, honey. That is not true. I actually had a client who her coworker or whatever got her nails done. And she she was like, oh, your nail tech doesn't use real Swarovskis, which was my, me. And I'm like, bitch. So my client comes asking me if I use Swarovski crystals. I'm like, girl, you know better than to ask me that. Like, that's all I use. And she was like, well, this girl, my job said they don't look, like, authentic. And I'm like, who the fuck are you going to believe, me or her? I'm your nail lady. So, I was like, mm-mm, this girlfriend over here, she cray-cray. She cray-cray. 
matching cray cray. Ooh, they look so pretty. So don't believe everything you hear or see on the internet because that is a bullshit. Mm, I'm gonna move this one here. I think this is, oh no, this is a thumb. Yep. I was like, girl, you're not even a nail tech. How are you going to come and tell me that these are not fucking Swarovski? Like, I even had this chick on Instagram once when I had all my bling bling nails. I was like, bitch, I have the fucking receipt if you need it. And she was just fighting away. I was like, okay, girl, bye. Bye. Yours. Yeah. I already finished my nozzle. They look so cute. I'm, I'm eating, not on my chair, but the next one. I'm looking at the TV and I'm like, where's Lenny? He's sitting on your chair. What chair? On your chair. On my dining chair? Yeah. He's sitting there just looking at me. <laughs> That's funny. Someone tried to tell me the same, like, bitch, I took a pic of the package of Swarovski crystals. Yeah, some people just like to fight other people. And it's like, girl, bye, honey. Now on to the pastel set. Girl, it's already nine. I don't think I'm going to get to the pastel set. Maybe tomorrow. I liked it a little bit. Look, let me... Let me take off the little sticky. I thought I was going to be done faster, but no, I can't. Willy, willy, willy. That's Pat. Sounds like a whole man. <laughs> no, that's my husband, girl. And I need to call my sister. Pastel green next. Pastel green. Damn, that's going to be a, a tough little design to make. Pastel green. I've never done pastel green nails before. <laughs> That's funny. That's a whole ass man. Come on, you little cheekly. Come off. Thank God. <laughs> now I want to take off these yellow ones and put these babies on like honey. Like if they're fucking earrings, huh? Are you putting this life on YouTube? Of course. Of course I am. You know it. That's why I come live so that I can come record the video and then go put it on YouTube for other people that are like asleep when I do this. How much do you sell your press on nails? I do not sell them. These are mine. Mine and only mine. If I had to sell them, they would be like a full set because they are time consuming. I'm so scared to put on press ones too. I'm rough with my hands. I feel like I'd peel my whole nail off. No, girl. Look, hold on. Let me, let me clean this so you guys could see the nails. Let me clean my little palette. Girl, you know I'm about to post a picture. Um, I was telling everyone that I don't work full-time anymore doing nails. So that's why I'm starting to do my little press-ons for myself. Because my clients be boring. Like, the nails they choose is like, girl, I cannot be creative on this. So sometimes I don't even post their nails. Like, if they're just one color... Or whatever. Looks so fucking beautiful. This was definitely not what I had in mind. I had something else in mind. And then. Salio something completely different. I still need to file a little bit of these Frenchies. To make them a little bit more snatched. But. Oh freestyle sets only for you. Mm -hmm, that's going to be the new rule. 
Freestyle sets only for all clients, not just the new clients. Do whatever. Mm -hmm. Some of my clients don't like bling, so they're like, no delay, just one color, please, one color. Hmm. All right, guys, I'm off to eat my little snack. I'll see you guys. Wait, tomorrow is Tuesday, huh? Yeah, I'll be back tomorrow with a pastel set. So make sure to join me around 6 p.m. Like usual. Or maybe in the daytime. I don't know. Just turn on your notifications. All right? All right, honey. Bye. Good night. Happy Valentine's Day. Let me show you guys up close. Girlfriend. Yes, honey. Bye. So sexy.